my channel. Where are we, Megan? We are in Sorrento. We're in Sorrento <laughs> in Italy! Um, I'm so excited. We got here, we got up at the crack of dawn at like quarter to four, got a flight at 6.45, we made it to here, and we've just had a bit of a, a bit of a freshen up, Glam. put some makeup on, um, certainly didn't feel this fresh uh, like an hour ago. No, <laughs> we were struggling, <laughs> we were struggling, um, but we made it here because we've come out a few days early because do you remember I've got my Italy retreat um, in the ne in another town from here called Massa Librense, is that right? Um, Massa Librense, yeah. Massa Librense. Megan is the lady behind my retreat. Um, and so we're in Sorrento, which is like the nearest big town. We're staying here for a couple of nights, you know, just to get the vibe, mm. chill, slash have a little bit of a break to ourselves. Um, so this is day one, but let's go get some food because we're really hungry. Let's do this. experience so far. So Megan got an iced coffee, they brought out a bucket of ice, a jug of milk, five different, um, sugars. Five different sugars including honey, um, just to make that iced coffee. <laughs> um, I'm having a omelette that looks like a pizza omelette and chips. Thank you. First limoncello of the trip. This is the, this is the limoncello factory. We saw a limoncello factory as we came into town. Are you ready? We got our nails done, bit of a fail, I'll be honest. They were crap. Yeah. Um, we spent 50 euros, no, 45 euros, 45 euros on a crap manicure pedicure, but I I couldn't let my feet get out in public and we need to wear sandals here. So now it's time for a gelato hunt and um, I need ice cream to keep us going. Yeah. It's now like five o'clock, six o'clock. Um, and we started our day at 4 a.m. So. Yeah, I need ice cream to keep me going for dinner. Um, yeah, we're just wandering through the streets. It's so lovely here. I think so, but I'm going to you get the rain off. <laughs> this is all around my mouth. I can feel it. <laughs> I've got the pistachio chocolate nutty one. What have you got? Lemon sorbet and mixed berry. What's this place called? Uh, a fresco. A fresco. And we just met the owners and they we were just, yeah, so nice. We just met the owners. They're owned by um, a couple. A young, a young couple. And they do like all sorts of stuff and they told us where the pistachio is from because they make the ice cream in the shop and it's all local, mm, it's local, all local. ingredients and mm. organic milk so it's like all good stuff but it just tastes really damn good right just leave us to um <laughs> have a moment with this ice cream because this is good. Of course we're going to get the hotel room that has dressing gowns except I look like a five-year-old wearing <laughs> her mother's clothes. <laughs> this one's huge but we had our ice cream, we're going to chill, we're going to head out. Um, the tiredness is kicking in but yeah, dressing gowns make me really happy and I know they make you happy too so got to share the love. Day two, um, we've just come out. It's trying to blimmin' rain. Can it just stop raining, please? Um, but you can see a bit more of, I think, Capri, or you can see a little bit more of the coast. So I thought we'd do, like, we've just come to the harbour, and we're gonna try and get the boat in, like, an hour or so. I'm about to get back and get my umbrella. In the distance, you can see the coast. I don't know if you can see the coast, but to the naked eye. So 
So we have some sort of chocolate, black cherry biscuit thing. Cannoli, so this is a lemon one and a pistachio one. And then this is called a sfogliatella. Is that right? But my sister has been to Sorrento and said we must try this. So this is filled with ricotta and candied fruit. But it looks good. So this is the chocolate cherry. Gonna do a taste test. What it reminds me of like a fig roll, but it didn't fit in. Yeah, it's like it's quite chalky though. I like it. It's like um a fig roll filling, but instead of figs, it's cherry. Yeah, thick pastry. You can't do it like easily. Is it good? I'm gonna try the pistachio. Can't decide. I feel like the pastry is on my own like, because it's not really hard. Filling was amazing. I've never had this before, so I don't know. I don't have anything to compare it to. Filling is amazing. I'm gonna try the lemon one. Mm. It's just a series of us going. Mm. Mm. This is what my sister raved about. Mm. Mm, the filling isn't as sweet as I thought. It's just ricotta cheese, so it's quite. Yeah. Mm. It's a candy fruit. It's definitely not Where sweet. Where is the candy fruit? Mm. That wasn't my favourite. I think my favourite was the first one. Mm. Okay. So, there we go. More food taste tests coming up. So, that pastry experience wasn't quite what we hoped. But we're not going to give up hope. We're going to go find some more good foodie places. And if we find some good places, I'm going to pop all the links and recommendations of the good food spots below. Um, but right now, we are heading to catch the ferry to Capri. Obviously, it's raining, but whatever. Make the most of it. I'm in Italy, so having a great time. up a back road in Capri that took us up a hill but it got too sweaty we are not prepared for this weather this, it was raining so like an hour ago in Sorrento and now it's boiling hot here so we just came to a little um, place in the port that we found on TripAdvisor what was it called like La Zodiaco I'm gonna put the name on the screen um I've gone for like almond citrus chicken and we've got some salads and yeah. stuff so this is my chicken you can't really see but there's chicken Megan has a traditional Caprese salad in Capri. Mm. So, we had a lovely lunch. Now it's time for round two of going up this pathway because I just looked on TripAdvisor and it said that this is like a very special viewpoint. I'm already being <laughs> heavy breath. <laughs> and this is our workout for the day. Lots and lots of steps. We're almost there, Megan. Look at this view. We have found all the lovely shopping in Capri. I mean, I'm just looking at such a bonchi bags right now. I'll take one of those. The Celine. Yeah, the wire cell. Perfect, perfect. Love the little town centre though. Such a lovely town. If you're coming to Capri though, bring your money because it's rather expensive. So after being a bit disappointed with our pastries this morning, we just found this place. This. This looks way more like it. Oh, and their gelato looks so good. We've come inside and found like way more authentic baked goods, we think. So we're going to try this. It's a Capri speciality. Limone. Caprillo Limone. Okay, now we're trying. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, now that is what I'm talking about. It's like a lemon marzipan, but it like melts in your mouth. You barely have to chew. 
That is. I think it's lemon marzipan. Dreamy. It's so good. Is it marzipan? No, we're good. Thank no. you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I would like to say about Italy is Italian men are very forthcoming in telling you if they think you're attractive or not. <laughs> Everywhere we go, Megan and I get a like, hello, and just because we're two women together, um, particularly Megan, <laughs> getting rather a lot of attention. This is so good. So now we've come on the hunt for another viewpoint because this place is honestly breathtaking. Um, I think this might be one of the most incredible views yet though. I mean, just wow. Just wow. This place, oh my goodness. What goes up must come down. We we need to make up the last ferry. Um, it's like 10, 20, 15 minutes. So we're getting a taxi and they're all 645. Okay. Go, go, go. So now we're in this like overback taxi, but they're not like your average, they're just like normal cars so and they've cut off the back. Not complaining though, because this is cool. Hey. Look at this view. Oh. night and we've decided to go down to like the old fishing pit and go to a restaurant that you guys recommended a lot on Instagram called Soul Fish. Soul, Soul Fish? No, Soul and, Soul Soul and, and fish. fish. Soul and Fish. And it's such a gorgeous evening. It's so warm as well. I know, it's really like one of those balmy nights. Yeah. You can just put a jacket on and it's lovely. Um, so yeah, hoping to get some really good local fish because that is my favourite food. Cheers to the best me retreat, Megan. Beautiful at uh, fish and soul, soul and fish, fish and soul, soul and fish, soul and fish. It's so good. The service has been amazing. They just bought us more alcohol, <laughs> limoncello, because this is like the delicacy. So let's do it. Not as bad as the other one. Zesty. Well, if you knack it, it's zesty. It's quite smooth. Mm, it is really good. The other one was really hard. That's the best limoncello I've actually ever had, and we've tried quite a lot since we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it is day three in Italy. As you can see, I'm in the hotel gym. Um, Megan and I had a nice fly in this morning. We got to bed at like 1 a.m. last night, so got up at like 9 a.m., had a little chill, um, and I've decided we're going to have a lazy, quiet day because the retreat starts tomorrow and we've got loads of setting up to do tonight and tomorrow morning, and it's just going to be like 100 miles an hour as of tonight. Sorry about that, my camera memory card just died. So I've come to the hotel gym. I am gonna try and get a workout in because I don't know, ironically, I'm really gonna try and make an effort to get some workouts in whilst I'm on the retreat, but obviously I'm training everyone. And when I'm teaching and training people, I'm not training. So this is like my last opportunity to like really have some time and space for myself. And yeah, this gym's not too bad. So I'm gonna keep it simple. We're gonna do a dumbbell only workout. Um, let me know what you think.
and the plan for this workout is to try and hit as many muscle groups as possible, chuck in a bit of cardio in there for my last, uh, the last exercise of my triceps. Oh, just to get my heart rate up because I haven't really been doing much um, training this week. So just like give myself a blast. Um, then I'm feeling it. before the real work starts and the retreat starts. And for a bit more cardio, I've decided to take the stairs all the way from the ground floor, that was like the gym was in the basement, to the rooftop, which is where the pool is, to go find Megan. I'm not one for getting on a cardio machine, so walking the stairs is A, getting me to my next destination, and B, getting my heart rate up. Oh, I can feel it. So it is Thursday afternoon, we're about to leave the hotel, and, um, head to the villa where we're hosting the retreat. We've just been chilling on this rooftop all day long at our hotel. We've got like a restaurant up here. We've just been working. Um, nothing particularly eventful, but like I said before, this is our calm day before the retreat kicks off tomorrow. So, I mean, I just cannot stop with this view. I cannot stop. Oh. We don't want to leave, but we have to. So let's go to Massa Lebrenzo, which is like a drive, like a 10 minute drive from Sorrento. 